Okay, let's take a look at it. So I wrote it out right here, the magnesium and the iodine, okay? Uh, what's the charge of magnesium? Good, plus two. What's the charge of iodine? Negative one. So we automatically know this is the opposite of what we just did, right? Okay, cool. Um, so in your head, you also know that all right, this is plus two, this is minus one, we can make them both two, right? What's that called when you try to figure out the lowest number that they both have in common? Yeah, lowest common multiple, right? Lowest common multiple. All right, so that's what we're doing here. Is we're basically, we're figuring out the lowest common multiple in our heads. So this one's gonna be plus two. So we're gonna make this one minus two so that they all even out again, all right? We balance it out. And then you just try to like plug in the numbers here that make it work out. So for magnesium, how many magnesiums do, do we need to make it plus two? One. Yeah, we just need one. So it's just gonna be a one down there. And then over here, we're gonna put two. two, because negative one times two gives us that negative two, right? Now, we didn't mention it before, but whenever you have ones here, for the final formula, you just leave them off. So this would just be mg i two. You don't need to, sh you can't show the ones. If you show the ones, it's wrong, all right? Um, so then you just leave it as this. What would we call this thing? Magnesium what? I I Good. Ish. Magnesium iodide. All right, magnesium iodide. Good. All right, and then the last one. Let's do the last one real quick. So with this one, we have calcium. We have nitrogen. All right, what's calcium's charge? Plus two. What's nitrogen's charge? Minus three. Okay, least common multiple? Six, right? So how do we get calcium to be six? Three. We need three, right? So with that six, this is gonna be positive six, right? This is gonna be negative six because they're gonna equal zero, all right? And then all you're doing is you're just filling in the numbers here that make it work, all right? So for this one, it's two times three gives you six, and this one it's three times two gives you six, and then you get your answer there. You get calcium, three, nitrogen, two, all right? Now, you could ask the question, well, where are you getting these, these from? Just imagine that you have buckets of these elements and you can put as many as you, you need to make everything balance out because that's how everything will work out is we wanna balance out the charges, all right? What would we call this thing? Calcium what? Now, is it nitrate? We memorize nitrate, right? What's nitrate? Oh, NO3, right? NO3 minus one. What's this one? This is just an N, right? Nitride. Like you tried to get that right. <laughs> All right, nitride. No? All right. <laughs> Calcium nitride. All right, Ca3N2. Because now, check this out. This is very different. This is actually wrong. Let's let's do this one real quick. Calcium and this NO3 thing. What's NO3? Nitrate. Nitrate. Now, are these charges right? What's calcium's charge? We just said it was plus two. Plus two. What's nitrate's charge? Minus, minus no, it's minus, minus one. one. All right. Now, this gets a little bit more complicated because there is a three here, but you have to think of it as that three is part of nitrate. It's all together. It's all part of that one thing in there. So that minus one is the charge of nitrate, plus two is calcium. So this is very similar where we need to figure out a plus two charge because calcium is plus two. And then we need to make this minus two. How are we gonna make that one minus two? How are we gonna make nitrate minus two? We need one more of it, right? We need two nitrates. So in this case, you're actually going to put parentheses around it to get a two here, because negative one times two gives you negative two, plus two times one gives you positive two there. So the final formula for this one would be CaNO3, two, right? So things get a little bit more complicated with the polyatomic ions, all right? But for 
these elements that we were really focused on here, that's not bad, right? Everybody's cool with that? We'll definitely practice more of both of them.